my students, you are welcome to class today. We are continuing with the topic pregnancy. And today we want to look at antenatal care. What comes to your mind when you hear the word antenatal? That is the care given to a pregnant woman before delivery of her baby. All right, what are the objectives? Number one, we have to define antenatal care. We have to discuss the various aspects of antenatal care. We have to enumerate the importance of antenatal care. I like guidelines for good nutrition during pregnancy. All right, what is antenatal care? Antenatal care is a care required by a pregnant woman before the birth of a child. The treatment, the care that a pregnant woman receives before delivery, that is what we refer to as antenatal care. And what are those things that antenatal care entails? Number one, regular visit to antenatal clinic. When you see a pregnant woman, regularly, sometimes weekly, they go for checkup in the hospital. And what do they do then? They will check the baby, they will check the mother, they will check the position of the baby, if the baby is okay in the womb. Also, they were enlightened the mother on good nutrition that will be suitable for both her and for her baby. Then proper clothing. They will tell the mother the type of clothes to put on. Of course, it will not be too good for a pregnant woman to put on a tight-fitting clothes. They will tell her and the type of shoe that she is permitted to wear. Then good personal hygiene. If she takes care of herself, the baby will be okay. But if the mother is not healthy, of course, it will affect the baby. Then they will advise the woman to avoid strenuous work, mainly because of the baby. Then they will advise the woman on regular exercise and enough rest. Okay, let's look at the next one. Importance of antenatal care. Why is antenatal care important during pregnancy? We have some tests that they will conduct on the mother and on the baby in the womb. This is to show if there is any problem that the mother or the baby may likely have. Also, it will help the fetus in the womb to develop properly. It helps the mother to keep well. It prepares the mother for childbirth. And lastly, it removes any fear or doubt that the mother may have about child delivery. Okay, what are the guidelines for good nutrition? Number one, balanced meal. A pregnant woman is advised to take adequate nutrients. All the six classes of food must be present in any diet that she is to take. And if she is to take increased intake of proteinous food, protein, or as we know, is the body building food. It will build the bone, it will build the body of the new life that is present in our womb. Also, increase intake of minerals, such as iron for blood, calcium for bones. Then she is to take enough water daily. Avoidance of extra carbohydrates. And why is she advised to reduce extra carbohydrates? Is because to prevent overweight. And lastly, intake of fruits and vegetables is very, very essential. What will be the effect of poor nutrition during pregnancy? If the woman, a pregnant woman take, does not adhere to good nutrition, what are those things that will happen to her? Number one, she may likely have what we refer to as low birth weight. Also, do we have different forms of mal malformation in the child? and the mother's health might be affected too. Join me in the classroom for further explanation. Thank you all.